which will ultimately lead to the downfall of Aldrant. ND 2019. The forces of Kimlaska Landvoldir shall march northward through the Rugnica Plains. After inflicting atrocities upon the villages in their wake, the army shall surround the fortress capital. Within a fortnight, the city shall fall. The Kimlaskan army will stain the Malku throne with the blood of its last emperor. Their howls of victory shall resound throughout the land. ND 2020. A mountain of corpses shall bury the fortress capital. Death and disease shall envelop the city. The plague born thence shall become a new poison unto humanity, killing all within its reach. Its spread shall mark the true end of Malkuth. Kimlaska shall enjoy decades of prosperity as the plague of Malkuth grows. Ultimately, the plague will be brought into the Kimlaskan kingdom by a single man. You... you! Stop it, Ion! You have to stop! The light of the sacred flame shall approach a Kimlaskan city of phone machines, seeking a way to purify the taint. There, salvation shall be found through the use of a forbidden power. Ion, are you okay? Luke, that was my reading of the score for you. A single path among your many possible futures. I know you don't depend on others, but this was the only way I could help you. Shut up! You've helped us out a million times! And you'll keep helping! Luke, don't look at me like that. There are plenty of replacements for me. How can you say that? Those other replicas don't know me at all! You're the only Ion that went to the Cheagle Woods with me. Tear, come closer. I will take the miasma from your body into my own. But Phone Master, you'll... I told you before, there's only one way to save you. The seventh phonons are drawn to one another. As my own seventh phonons dissipate, so will your contaminated ones. Ion! Don't you see? This way, Tear is safe. Ion! You don't have to watch over me anymore, Annis. I'm so sorry, Ion. I... I... Thank you for everything, my most cherished. best replica of the bunch, and even he couldn't read the score properly. Score, score, score! Is that the only thing you can think of? The score isn't worth a damn! Preposterous fool! The score is crucial to mankind's continued survival! Mankind can get by just fine without it! It promises prosperity for all! What possible reason could we have to ignore it? I am a watcher. I have been charged with protecting and guiding humanity. I swear I will use these replicas to bring about war as foretold in Yulia's score. Therein lies our only path to salvation. What should we do? These are civilians. Fighting them would be far too... Those people won't harm you unless someone directs them to. I can swear to that. Please, allow Grand Maestro Moes to leave unharmed. They'll back down peacefully if you do. But... He's escaped. There's nothing we can do now. Still, to think that so many replicas have been created... 
It must have been the result of Fomacry data Van left behind. There's no way they could have made replicas of the people of Hod without it. We can investigate this later. For now, let's escort Annis' parents to Doth. Annis, that's all right with you, I presume? Yes. Arietta, if you move around, your wounds will reopen. You killed him! Annis, you killed Ion! Please, wait. It's only because Mose has taken us hostage. Papa, be quiet. Yeah, I did. Want to make something of it, Gloomietta? Ion helped me so much. This is beyond avenging Mommy, Annis. I'll avenge Ion, too. Annis, I challenge you to a duel. Accepted. Annis! I have to finally settle things with her. I'll send someone to tell you the time and place later. And I'll never forgive you if you run away. Annis, a duel? This is foolishness. Can't you talk about this? I'm sure Arietta would understand. Mama, be quiet. But Annis... Shut up! Wait! Annis! Let's split up and look for her. Yeah. So, you were out here. Look, everyone's worried about you. Oliver and Pamela, too. Don't talk to me about them. Come on, Annis, you couldn't have done anything differently. He was holding your parents hostage. No! I was lying to Ion from the very start. Mose ordered me to report everything Ion did. Trying to stop the war, spending time with you guys, I reported it all. Annis, that's all... Listen! The attack on the Tartarus, the ambushes by the six god generals, it's all my fault! Wasn't that all because you were worried for your parents? Papa's pretty gullible, right? When I was really little, he got scammed for a ton of money and got deep into debt. Mose bailed him out. Since then, my parents have worked for the cathedral without pay. I... I couldn't disobey his orders. I know. I hated it all along. Ion was so trusting, it really hurt to have to lie. Yeah. But I... I loved Mama and Papa. Annis, you did the right thing. It wasn't right. It wasn't right at all. I... I... I killed Ion! Poor Ion. It's all my fault. And now he's dead. Annis, here, take this. I picked it up in Mount Zalejo. It's a fragment of the phone stone from the score Ion read. Ion's phone stone? What are you going to do now? Do you want to stay in Doth? No, I'm going with you. I think that Ion would have wanted to help you if he had lived. Thanks. Let's head back and see everyone then. It appears you've calmed down a bit. Yes, Colonel. I'd like to stay with you all and think about what I should do from here on. Stay strong, Annis. What should we do next? It would be hard to pursue the score further until the order has been restructured. And we don't have the first clue about where to search for Ash. I... I'd like to put Ion's final reading of the score to use. You mean that bit about finding out how to clear away the miasma in Belkin? You're right. Ion sacrificed everything to give us that clue. I agree. That's all we have to go on at the moment. That said, we will have to deal with this issue eventually. We stopped Van's vision of a world where the score can't be read. But it's not as if we fully support the score either. Once things have settled down, we should hold a summit about what to do with the score. Yes, you're right. <laughs>